Science in the modern day can mean practically anything. With so many disciplines out there conducting such vigorous research across so many fields, there are so many practices that can be considered scientific. Sometimes this means examining the artifacts and people of the past, delving into archaeology and history. Sometimes this means diving into the future, advancing our understanding of the latest technology to help us advance as a species. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting discoveries from various scientific disciplines. Mysterious second writer of Dead Sea Scroll was uncovered by AI. From one document, an artificial intelligence detected subtle orthographical differences in the handwriting, suggesting there were two scribes contributing to this particular manuscript, not the one we had once thought. A statistical analysis indicated that there were minor differences between the writing styles within one Dead Sea Scroll manuscript. Whilst these tiny inconsistencies were invisible to the naked eye, the AI research confirmed that the penmanship was that of two separate writers. Preliminary explanations for the similarity are simply that the two scribes could have trained or been taught in a similar manner, such as attending the same school. Principal investigator Mladen Popovich, who led this study, is a professor of the Hebrew Bible and ancient Judaism at the University of Groningen, based in the Netherlands. He describes this research as just the first step. He elaborates by explaining that being able to pinpoint individual scribes will open the door to study all the scribes behind the Dead Sea Scrolls and put us in a new and potentially better position to understand what kind of collection or collections of manuscripts we are dealing with here. He believes that the involvement of AI presents just the first breakthrough of dozens. Scribes of the manuscripts did not sign their names, and with more than 900 manuscripts found, the number of authors contributing has long remained an elusive figure. Popovich outlines the procedure of identifying scribes prior to the employment of AI. He claims that singling out a defining characteristic in the formation of each letter could be deemed a smoking gun, creating a specific handwriting profile that could be used in order to identify a particular writer. This was a highly flawed approach to dividing up a manuscript into its different writers due to the subjective nature. There were no concrete answers, resulting in a high level of debate amongst scholars. These criticisms led to the data-backed approach seen today, with AI confirming handwriting differences throughout the Great Isaiah Scroll. The Great Isaiah Scroll has been incredibly well preserved. It dates back to 125 BC and measures 24 feet by 10 inches, complete with 54 columns of text written in Hebrew. This scroll contains some mysterious aspects, the small break in the pages, though it had seemingly been sewn back together. The AI conducted a process called a neural network analysis. This found that within the 54 columns of text, there were two entirely unique groups that each section fell into. Further supporting this theory is that the switch between the two groups was approximately halfway through the manuscript, suggesting a clear-cut divide between scribes where one took over from the other. Even when looking at fragments or just small parts of the individual letters, clear differences can be seen. Further testing the accuracy of their findings, researchers added additional noise to the data, though the same results appeared repeatedly. Following the initial tests, heat maps were used to create two average versions of different characters before and after the alleged shift. Here, according to Popovich, the results are statistically significant. Popovich implies there is plenty of practical information to be gained from this research, including what he describes to be the cultural evolution of the Hebrew Bible. The Dead Sea Scrolls include a guide to a hidden treasure. Between the hundreds of Dead Sea Scroll manuscripts, there is one that stands out above the rest, inviting more questions and theories. The Copper Scroll. The majority of the Dead Sea Scrolls have been written on parchment, papyrus, or animal skins, with their messages conveyed in ink. The Copper Scroll, however, is made out of copper and engraved to carry its message. Some have theorized the Copper Scroll was intended to stand the test of time, being legible and accessible for much longer than the manuscripts recorded on parchment. It is believed by some that across the Copper Scroll is a treasure map, guiding the way to a store of gold and silver riches, 
it depicts 64 hiding places throughout Israel, in which these treasures and riches of gold and silver are kept tucked away, safely hidden. The Copper Scroll is a fascinating discovery, as it features an unusual range of vocabulary and a whole host of strange spellings. Even with the manuscript leading the way, we have been unable to uncover any of the gold alluded to by the Copper Scroll. Some people suggest this is due to it being taken in the first century by Romans, whilst others believe that the treasure may never have been there at all. However exciting the prospect of hidden treasure may be, some people are sceptical about the authenticity of the scroll. Some claim that treasures of this scale must have been the gold and silver of the temple. This would mean that the copper scroll may not truly lead to the riches of the ascents, who are generally believed to have owned the treasure, according to the copper scroll, as this group rejected the temple and the authority of priests, likely leaving them without riches of this grandeur to speak of. Others believe the location of the scroll, the Judean desert, and the cliff face above the Dead Sea are keeping with expectations of the ascends, but not other cultural groups, giving some evidence that the treasure may have belonged to them after all. Archaeologists are yet to find any treasures to speak of, and there is little concrete evidence to support who the treasure truly belongs to. Oldest ever piece of string was made by Neanderthals 50,000 years ago. A piece of string about 50,000 years old, the oldest discovered so far, has been found in a cave in France and once again has cast doubt on the idea that Neanderthals were cognitively inferior to modern humans. Researchers at Kenyon College, USA, have found a 6.2mm fibre fragment dating back some 41,000 to 52,000 years making it older than the previous record-holding piece of string, a 19,000-year-old fragment found in Israel. Bruce Hardy and his fellow researchers, who reported the discovery in an article published in the scientific journal Scientific Reports, discovered this new piece of string attached to a Neanderthal tool. At first, it looked like a bundle, but a microscopic examination revealed that it was a bunch of intertwined fibres. According to the researchers, the finding of this ancient string reveals the possibility of other Neanderthal skills, such as the creation of bags, mats, nets and cloth, suggesting that Neanderthals were more intelligent than is often assumed today, as it implies that Neanderthals understood concepts such as pairs, sets and numbers. The study notes that the production of this rope demonstrates that Neanderthals had a detailed ecological understanding of trees and how to transform them into completely different functional substances. It also implies a cognitive understanding of arithmetic and context-sensitive working memory, according to the study. This is because it required keeping track of several sequential operations simultaneously. As Hardy points out, the cord was made from fibres from the inner bark of trees, Neanderthals intertwined three fibres in a counterclockwise direction, then spun them in the opposite direction to create the cord. Crystal found in Kalahari Desert challenges the assumptions about where African human culture arose. This discovery potentially has much larger ramifications on how we believe human culture began and where it began it has been widely accepted that the first signs of human culture emerged on the coasts of Africa. This discovery challenges that. A collection of around 20 stunning crystals has been found. This collection was made and stored 105,000 years ago, making it the earliest discovery of complex behaviour in the history of our species. Before then, other similar discoveries had been made along the coast of Africa like the 100,000-year-old engraved ochre and 60,000-year-old ostrich eggshells that had been decorated. This new discovery being found in the Kalahari Desert completely flips the coastal theory on its head and now scientists are questioning the early periods of human history. The discovery was made by a team from Griffith University. There was a total of 22 calcite crystals, all of which had fascinating geometric shapes. Not only were there crystals found, but also 40 different ostrich eggshells were found alongside them, suggesting complex behaviours such as storage and transportation. It's theorised that the eggshells were more than likely used to carry and store water. It is clear from the site and the archaeological finds that a level of human ingenuity and innovation was present around 105,000 years ago at this location. Decorating space with crystals and using eggshells to transport water shows that the coastal theory perhaps is not correct 
as the Kalahari is quite a way away from any coast. But what do you make of these three discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.